everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. Welcome back to Colorful Creations. I'm so glad you're here today. I'm gonna do a painting for you on, it's a paint over actually. I've been doing a few of those lately. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. I am gonna just do, it's gonna be all four colors. Um, I have, I'm just using tempera white. And um, I got that from Amazon for like $20, pretty cheap. I have metallic black by Artist Loft and a silver by Deco Art. And now I am making a fourth color by mixing together some of the black and white to make like another shade of gray. It's gonna be all grayscale and um, I'm just kind of playing with it. I've never done this before and I really want to. I've tried it a few times, but I always end up adding a color to it. And um, I don't know, I just wanna do all of, all of black and gray and just see how it goes. So I'll show you these, those up close. I'll show you the canvas first. Okay, so here's my canvas. It is 18 by 24. Um, as you can see, I did do a painting on it before and I didn't, I got sick of it. I didn't like it. I painted it over with a coat of gesso. It comes in black and white and I have black. Um, so it's not a big deal. Um, usually the thickness of a pour painting is enough to cover the black because black would obviously be the hardest color to cover if you're using white. Um, I just I just always like to paint the edge just because the paint thins out as it runs off and it's harder to cover that. I mean, you can touch it up afterwards and I usually do, but this just gives it, this will help a little bit. All right, so here are the colors I'm using, like I just showed you. Um, they're mixed how I, I normally mix there them. There is a link to a video in the description of how I mix my paint and my recipe. And um, these are mixed on a little bit thicker and I didn't, I'm not really picky with this painting in consistency. Like I'm not making them all exactly the same. As you can see that it leaves a little bit of a mound and runs in. That's, that's a metallic black. Um, here's the silver. This one, I guess this one is a little thicker than that one, as you can see. And I'm not being picky because I'm going to tilt a bit with this. And, you know, a little different thickness can make little designs and, and it makes it more interesting that way. So here's the white. This is... A little thicker and then this would be the nice one that I made from mixing the metallic black and the white together see so it's nice and shimmery it's a nice silvery dark gray whatever you want to call it so that one's like a good thickness too all right so here we get to the fun stuff now this is going to be an open cup and first I'm going to cover the whole thing in white and then I'm going to use this I'm actually just going to cut the top off of this. It's, uh... All right, so you just want to use something light enough for the paint to come underneath. So I'm going to cover this whole thing in white and then set this wherever and I start pouring the paint into this. And then as it fills up, it'll kind of lift up and it'll, it'll um, come out from under the bottom and this will move around and kind of make a nice design. And then when I feel like I have enough on it, I'll just tilt it around a little bit and um, cover the whole canvas. It's pretty fun and easy to do. So I have a big bucket of that white that I just showed you all mixed up and I'm just gonna cover this. Now I like to, when a canvas is small enough, I do like to tilt it around to cover it. Um, it just, you'll get a nice even, uneven base to start with. There we go. So I'm not being too picky about the sides. I can touch those up later. Just that anywhere. I like to pour a little around the outside to start to kind of seal it in. So I'm gonna put a little color and then white in between each one. I want there to be lots of white.
gonna be enough paint. So I'm gonna be really brave and take some of this metallic, like the gray, and um, no, I'm gonna use the black. Let's go really bold. The black, and I'm gonna pour it in this other cup here with the top cup, because I can, I'm able to make that go to a spout a lot easier than this one. Just gonna put a little there, and I am gonna do something all right. Now, nice tight spout. I want it to come out really thin. I'm just gonna make a swiggle over this. Just like, like that. Now I'm going to torch the whole thing and then we'll tilt it. Okay, now I'm gonna, there's a lot over here, so I'm gonna tilt it this way first. I had to dump some extra paint off that. It was quite full. There's just so much paint on here. I put, I used way too much, way too much. I think it'll be okay though. Let's give this whole thing a torch again. And I'm just wondering. I want, I want some more. Like I really like this actually. All my. <laughs> The thing I did with the little cup of this kind of went away, but that's all right. It's just because I used too much paint, that's all. So I think this is, I like this idea a lot. I would like to do this on a bigger canvas, I think, and hopefully not use too much paint. But the idea I do really like. Okay, I'll give you a closer look. All right, so here it is. I really like it. I really do like it a lot. A nice, it's just be a nice painting for on a wall, just anywhere really, nice background. It doesn't, not gonna take over a room with too much color or anything. You get some really pretty cells. That tempera white, it's kind of weird. Like you get these different uh, designs. Like look how it goes over the edge. I really like this. All right, so I will come back in a few days when this is dry. You can see all these metallics. Let me know what you think, okay? Do you think I should add a color? Do the same thing and add a little, like one color? Or do something big like this? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.